hello lovelies welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be making palazzo trouser without pattern just like requested by one of my subscribers so i'm going to show you guys how i folded this fabric um on my paper because of the long the wideness of the fabric so the first thing i did is to fold the fabric into two that's if you are cutting your front and your back bodies together then i'll fold over again in a triangular form that means i'm having four fabrics um now four pieces now so that is the waist the length then this is the length of the fabric where we'll be attaching it then this is where your crouch is going to be but for me i am going to be cutting the back and the front separately so this is i'm going to be cutting um folding my just ones just like you see me do in a triangular form So this is how I'm going to be folding my. Remember, the more, more you fold, the more wide is going to be at the hem inside. So I'm going to reduce the folding so that I don't have so much, um, so much fabric there. Remember, this is for a child. So this is where, um, how I'm going to fold. This is going to be where my length is going to be, and this is my waist. So we are going to go ahead and insert this on our fabric. So I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into a triangular form. Remember, I reduced the folding; it's not a full fillet, so that it doesn't is not too wide at the hemming side. I'm just getting a rough estimate of where my waist is going to fall. The measurement of my waist divided by four is going to fall. So I'm going to be marking there. I think I have about 8.5 inches. So that's what I'm going to be marking all around to get my waist. If you have any, any question or any confusion, please leave it in the comment section and I will clarify you as soon as I can. So placing my my tape on the line that I, on the waistline I just marked, I'm going to mark the length of my um trouser. And the length of this this gown is for a 10 year old. It's going to be 42 inches that's the length of this but because it's going to have a band i'm going to be marking at 40 inches below two inches allowance that's how it fell on 42 inches so i'm going to be marking that 42 in 42 inches all around remember our tape is placed at our at the waistline that we marked so i marked 42 inches all around so the next thing i'm going to mark is to mark our crash measurement remember this is not a fitted trouser so it's not going to be fitted and i'm deducted 1.5 inches before inserting my crouch depth because of the band you have to consider the band so i marked my crouch depth at uh, eight eight inches if i am not mistaken and at that line i'm going to go ahead and insert my hip measurement divided by four and then i'm going to curve it for curve my crouch um, line if you haven't seen the detailed video of my trousers or pants, please check it out. I have a very detailed video, video on my channel. Please check it out. So th that's it for the front bodies. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I hope you're enjoying this video and you, you find it helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you do. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button or subscribe button in this channel we make beautiful styles for our princesses for our babies and one or two <laughs> for our mommies as well so i'm going to go ahead and cut the back bodies i just transferred the front one onto another um pattern another pieces you can't see it because of the nature of the fabric so i just extended the line of the crouch the crouch line that's what i just extended the line and that there i'm going to be marking at 1.5 inches you can increase this as big as two inches if you are making this for a bigger person then the next thing i'm going to do is to um add half inch on this and i forgot to mention i added one inch allowance to my waistline when i was cutting the front bodies so by the time you transfer it to your back bodies you have already have two inches um allowance added already i hope you understand this but if you don't add if you do not add any allowance please add at this moment add the allowance to your back bodies and then i'll extend the crush line to meet the front body just like you see me too please go ahead and do the same thing and i also have a little video of um this palazzo trouser the um, pattern drafting one you will love it if you haven't seen that one it's very very detailed and very very um educative 
so this is my pattern i have done i am done cutting them out the front and the back bodies so this is for my back and what i'm going to do is to place the two crouch together front facing front just like you see me do and i'm going to go to my sewing machine and then stitch it all the way to the crouch area and for my front body since you're going to be attaching zip to it what you're going to be doing is to place um the front just like you did for the back one the front facing front and then if you're going to have zip to it just leave your zipper allowance open and then stitch on the remaining one but for me i'll be attaching my zips to the side so i'll stitch all the way from the waist to down to where the crush and then and this is it after i was done stitching it down the two crouch down so the next thing i'm going to do is to open the fabric up to the front and then other one front facing front and that's what i'm going to do be doing now that's the right side of the fabric facing the right side of the um of each, facing each other so i'm going to go ahead and arrange the waist um, properly making sure that the waist is matching and the two same side are matching i'll pin it down and i'll do the same thing for the other side at this moment you will notice that it's the back and the front um waist are not equal just make sure you pin it down equally because of the butt that's why the back and the front are not equal so i'm going to go ahead and then start pinning the um side the same side I'm going to go ahead and pin the two, to the two seam side, arrange it properly and then I'm going to pin it down before going to my sewing machine to stitch the two seams, to, to, the, two seam, the two sides, sorry. And I'll do the same thing for the other side. So if you are like me that want to attach your zipper by the side, what you're going to do is to leave your zipper opening and then stitch on the remaining side the remaining um, side okay this is it after i was done stitching it you can see that my zipper every, um, allowance is open i did not stitch it down we are going to be attaching our zip afterwards so the next thing i'm going to do is to hem this fabric for this if you have your serger your serging machine you would um, i'm going to for me i'm going to be folding it into two that's to hem me but if you don't just search it for once and then fold it once that's what i was trying to explain so this is it after i was done folding it um down hemming it <laughs> so the next thing i'm going to do is to the next thing i'm going to do is to close the crush area and for this the first thing i'm going to do is to mark the two crush and then I'm use my pin to secure it before I will go ahead to start pinning the on the remaining um, the remaining um, areas. I remember your hemming, your hems are supposed to match. Just make sure that you pin it before pinning the other side of it. And I'll do the same thing for the other side, and then I'll stitch from one hem onto the crash and then to the other side of the hem. So while making this video, our light went off and they I was waiting for them. No, the light wasn't coming, so I decided to use another place to, for this for natural light. So I've done gone ahead to stitch the hemming area, and for the band, I have the length of my waist, and then the width is four inches. I'm going to be folding it into two, and then I'll place it to my um, waist, to my waist, my pants waist, my trouser waist. And I'll go ahead and stitch it from one end to the other. And this is it after I was done stitching it. You can as well do invisible waist stitching if you want, but for me, I'll do it this way and then I'll go ahead and stitch it when I was done with the pants. So the next thing I did is to attach my zip to this um, trouser um and that's all for this time <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you do if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe to my channel share my videos to family and friends and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye